Hey guys, it's Maya. I'm back today with part 3 on my short series on themes. Today I'm going to introduce you to the special page in the Rome Help database, um, which is called Rome Cult Themes. Here there are multiple themes which you can copy then paste into your own database in the Rome slash CSS page. Then of course you can add multiple themes and then switch in between them. You, if you want to have more info on how to do this, you can go and check out my previous video which explains everything. So, let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is actually go to the help database. So to do that, you go on the little question mark and then go on the help database. I just want to add that I find that this technique is the best and fastest and most simple technique to add a theme to your Rome. So to get started, you're going to go on shortcuts and then on Rome Cult Themes. Here you can see that there's a short video by Connor where he explains how to apply the theme to your Rome. Next, you have the team favorites. So these are codes. Um, I'm going to show you some more. There's the team favorites, dark modes, feature expansions, which I think are just some extra tricks. Then you have some more colors. So I'm going to show you how to um, add the first code. To do that, you go on, you just select the block with the code, Command C, and then you're going to go in your Rome CSS page. And then here, I'm going to write what it is, what, what's happening. So I'm just going to write a Rome help database themes, put hashtag themes. Okay, then tab. And here it's very important that you write code one or you write something. And then underneath you nest the code like this. If not, um, you won't be able to add a second version. So I'm going to show you a little trick with better Rome research. Over here, actually this is for every single one of them. And you can see that here there are some, uh, if you go in light mode, if your Mac is in light mode, then your Rome will be in, my, in light mode. And if your Mac is in dark mode, then your Rome will be in dark mode. And like I said, here there are some examples. And then here it says who the designer of the code is. And here you have the special features. And of course, at the end, you have the code. So now I'm going to add a second version of this code. To do that, I'm just going to go over it again. Right click, add version, and then you write code 2, tab, enter, oh, enter tab, and then you paste your second code. If you want more detail on how to add a second version, you can go check out my previous video where I explain it more detailed. So second code, I'm going to go back, and then I'm just going to take um, Rome Gotham. This one seems scary a little bit so command c command v oh i like it i like this one a lot you can see again that here we have an example the designer special features and then we have the code of course you can just copy if you want you can just copy the code block instead of the whole the whole text everything this everything over here so now i'm going to add the last version by going on right click add version code three tab and then I'm gonna go get um, another one so I'm just gonna take um, Rome Aqua this one seems cool command C and command V oh okay I like this one as well um, I'm just gonna minimize it and now I'm gonna show you how you can switch in between your codes so if you go on the little three you can see that um, you can switch in between your codes Again, you can go check out my previous video where I explain this more detailed. So that's about it for my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. See you soon.